Dave Filoni's got a new job title over at Lucasfilm. It's now being reported that Dave Filoni, who's of course, you know, kind of the guy behind the Clone Wars animated series, Rebels, which is an animated series that I actually really quite like. Uh, he also helped John Favreau with The Mandalorian, and he just did his Ahsoka series, which I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't think was very good. But um, there's been a lot of people, I mean, you would be hard pressed to find somebody more entrenched in the lore of Star Wars than a Dave Filoni. And now that's been paid off. But it's an odd chief creative officer title he's been given because he doesn't actually have the authority that a traditional chief creative officer would have. Anyway, this comes from The Hollywood Reporter, right? The following. Dave Filoni is expanding his footprint in a galaxy far, far away. The longtime Star Wars force uh, has been named chief creative officer at Lucasfilm. Now, Filoni said, in the past, in a lot of projects I would be brought into, uh, into it, I would see it after it had already developed a good ways along. Filoni told Variety Fair, or uh, Vanity Fair, which broke the news, Filoni will now be involved in the early development on Star Wars projects, working with Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy and head of development Carrie Beck. Now, it goes on to say in the article that Filoni is not actually... You know what a lot of chief creative officers would do is be the ones that kind of green light projects and stuff like that. And that's not really what he's going to be doing here. Um, it goes on to say this in the article. Dave Filoni says, I'm not telling people what to do, Filoni told Variety uh, Vanity Fair in, about his new role, but I do feel I'm trying to help them tell the best story uh, that they want to tell. I need to be a help across the galaxy here, like a part of a Jedi Council almost. So... What he's going to be doing now, traditionally what Filoni is saying is once they've already had a project up and going and then they would bring in Filoni traditionally to kind of give some mm, context, I guess, to the story that they were developing and try to, um, you know, help them and, and give them a little bit of guidance, but the projects would already be up and running. Now, under his new role, he's going to be doing the same thing but involved much earlier in the process. He's going to be there at its inception and kind of, again, he doesn't, he's not going to be uh, directing or dictating which way the movies or shows are going to go, but he's going to be there to give input, influence. Uh, <laughs> Yamil DSA, chief creative counselor, um, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff in there. Now, I would feel more excited about this. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm, I'm always forthright with you guys. I would be more excited about this if I liked Ahsoka as much as I was hoping I would like it. Um, but there have been a lot of fans who have said for a long time that they want Dave Filoni to be the new head of Lucasfilm, which I've always guffawed at a bit because just because you made a great cartoon show I, doesn't mean you know how to run a corporation and I think something like this I think as a chief creative officer being involved in the storytelling aspect of where Star Wars is and where Star Wars is going to go I personally think this is a much happier fit for somebody like Dave Filoni. I, I think this is somewhere where he will be, number one, very comfortable, because it's it's not the running a corporation part. That That's not his thing. It's being involved in the storytelling. So I think that's going to be a much happier place for him. But I also think it's going to be where he's going to be far more effective. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit curious about the fact that he doesn't seem to actually have any authority, but... Uh, but but whatever, getting Dave Filoni and at least his input much earlier in the process in the development of Star Wars projects, I think can only be a good thing. Um, now, again, he's saying that they are going to defer to the individual storytellers, the individual filmmakers are still going to have the run of their projects. But again, having Filoni in there earlier in the process, the better. Um, now, the article also says, because some people might be asking, what about that movie they said Dave Filoni was going to direct? That's still happening. Uh, Filoni is still going to be developing that movie. He's still going to direct that movie. So that movie, nobody has to worry about it. That is still going to happen. So, yeah, I, Chris, I got to say, I think this is a very good fit. This is the type of position. I don't know if Lucasfilm had a chief creative officer. I don't think they did. 
I think they've created the position in the company for him. And I think it's the right spot for him. I think he's going to flourish in this. And again, whenever you get somebody with the type of deep lore knowledge that he has to come in and consult and to give some guidance, I think that's going to make everything potentially better. Hopefully, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Fume. Quitting cold turkey is great in theory, but you and I both know it's way more difficult than that. And that's why there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some fake online promises. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. And they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavor air device that does just that. See, instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. I personally didn't know what to expect when I first got my Fume. I mean, I've never liked vapes, but my goodness, the taste. The first time I tried it, I was completely sold on it. It was incredible. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off your order today. Uh, I like the move. What do you think about this? I like the move. I think you're hard pressed to find somebody in the Star Wars universe who has as much knowledge about it as Dave Filoni. I mean, he's been working professionally within Star Wars since 2008. And sure, a few things maybe not have not been as strong as others, but he knows this stuff backwards and forwards. He knows how everything connects. And I like this move because... As we learned this year, most of the Disney shows, at least, haven't had showrunners or things like that. That has not been a move that they've been doing. Right. And now, not only are they going to have showrunners, but I like this idea of kind of the the all-encompassing universe runner here. Of these pieces go together. This is what needs to happen here. Early phases of Marvel come to mind here of what right. Feige did. Yeah. So I love the idea of him making sure that these things all connect. Because I know that's something that Star Wars fans in particular can get really heated about of, well, this is contrary to this, and this doesn't make sense here. And if this is canon, then that isn't canon anymore. And Dave Filoni knows all that stuff. So I feel like this is going to add some cohesion to everything. Um, and it sounds like we're still getting different flavors throughout here, right? We still are going to have the coming of age story with Skeleton Crew. We still are going to have more of that kind of thriller um, dark show with the acolyte so we're still going to have different genres happening within star wars which is something we've all talked about really enjoying but we'll at least have those universes talking to each other in a way that hopefully will make sense right uh, and by the way quick side note just just to try to head off some conversations that might be coming in a few months mm -hmm. dave filoni has just been given this job if skeleton crew sucks that has nothing to do with it's dave filoni yeah if the acolyte sucks, it has nothing to do with Dave Filoni. He's just taking over the job now. Okay, so everybody just pump the brakes it, on that. It's like how everyone freaked out about the Flash being James Gunn's problem. Yeah, I think like, that movie was <laughs> done before James Gunn got the job. Yeah. Um, the other thing too that I was a little bit curious about was, because listen, I I want to bring this back up. I got told almost a year ago now that Kathleen Kennedy was on her way out. Many people have been told the same thing, but yeah. I, I was also told that Kathleen Kennedy was on the way out by the end of the year. So seeing a big major move like this, it made me wonder, did Kathleen Kennedy promote him? Because it doesn't say in the article. Or did somebody, or did Bob Iger promote him? Ooh. I've been told that she actually gave him the job. Okay. Now, uh, her, she, Dave Filoni and her have been working together for a while now, for years. So it's not surprising. But again, that's interesting to me that she can create that kind of position and promote him um, when she's supposed to be on her way out. Is she not on her way out? Did she save her job by going pr proposing a new leadership structure to try to boost things or did she buy some more time for herself or i mean i don't know but i i have to question all that right yeah. now about where we're going with that but interesting story 
nonetheless. So I think this is going to make a lot of people very happy, but it's going to be interesting to see over time exactly how involved does he get to be? Because traditionally a chief creative officer is like, they get to call a lot of the shots and blah, blah, blah. From what Filoni's saying, it doesn't sound like that's what this role really is. So it's going to be interesting to see how much of an impact he gets to have moving forward. Again, just everybody. If Skeleton Key sucks, has <laughs> nothing to do with Dave Filoni. True. It's going to take, it's going to take a year, two years before we really feel the impact of him now having this position. So give him a little bit of a space there. Give him a little bit of room to breathe. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.